Now in this lesson we're looking at changing numerals to standard form. Now standard form is used for very large numbers and for very small numbers. So for example, this large number, 126,000, in standard form will be written as 1.26 times 10 to the 5. And a very small number like this one can be rewritten as 5 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, scientific notation is another term for standard form. All right, you may see that, but more generally you will see the word or the phrase standard form. Let's look at some examples to see actually how we do it. We're asked to express the following numbers in standard form. Example 1, 182,000. Well, the idea firstly is to consider in a whole number, the decimal point would be at the end of the number. And in standard form, what we need to do is to move it, move the decimal point after the first non-zero number. So after that 1, we're going to move that decimal point there. So let's see how we do it. Starting there, let's count how many places we move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 places we've moved the decimal point. So then we write what the numbers we have. 1.82, don't worry about all the zeros after. 1.82, and then we write times 10 to the power of 5. And that 5 is indicative of the 5 places we move the point. Excellent. This next one, 345.7. Well, we can see our point at this stage, and we need to move it after that 3. So we're going to move it to its new position there. So again, let's count how many places we've moved. 1, 2. Okay, a little bit easier. It's two places. So, two places there, write down. That number then, we write it down with its new position for the point. 3.457 times 10 to the power of 2 because we move the point two places. Example 3. We'll consider some smaller numbers now. There's our decimal point. Where do you think we need to move it? We need to move it after the 8. So that's its new position. So let's count. There's the start. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four places. And we write that number again, ignoring the zeros in this time in front. So 8.2, and then we write times 10 to the minus 4 this time. Okay, it is four places, but for very small numbers, okay, and that is certainly a very small number, we use a negative indice. So that's why we use the minus 4 rather than just the 4. Our final example, 0.006. Well, we need to move the decimal point. There it is. We need to move it after the 6. So let's count. 1, 2, 3. Three places. So we're going to write the 6. All right, there's no other number in this case. So 6 times 10 to the minus 3. So you can see we moved the point three places. That's why we got the 3. But because it's a very small number, that's why it's minus 3. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.